San Diego after deployments that it's also unusual action. The Cowpens had a tense encounter with a Chinese ship while the Spruance made a life-saving rescue. Tenure supporter Maria Arcega Dunn is live at Naval Base San Diego. Maria, what these crews do is heroic, but it's all in a day's work for them. Absolutely all in a day's work and family and friends here just tell us they're proud of them, but they're just happy they're going to be home in time for Easter. But sailors aboard both ships, the USS Spruance, which just docked behind us, and the Cowpens were key in providing security ops and humanitarian aid in the Western Pacific. The USS Spruance and its crew of 260 and enlisted personnel deployed in October, and it supported security operations in the South and East China Seas as well as the Yellow Sea. And it also rescued a, Fili a Filipino mariner in January who had fallen overboard in the Singapore Strait. Now the 567 foot cowpens and its crew of 400 deployed in September. Now it's been busy. Now in November it provided humanitarian help in the Philippines following super typhoon Haiyan and it's also made international headlines in December following a near collision with the Chinese Navy. Now regardless of all the great work they've done, families and loved ones were here early and they're just happy to have them home safe. It was pretty tough but you know it's all worth it now that he's coming back today. You know, we adjust and just try to make it work, you know. As long as we know that date coming, you know, just literally that like she has a calendar, she marks off each day. And back out here live, you can see the USS Spruance, which just docked. It just completed its maiden deployment to the Western Pacific. The USS Cowpens is docking at another pier, and it is coming in at 1130. We're live at Naval Base San Diego. Maria Arcega Dunn, 10 News.